Well, it's been a while, hasn't it? It has, but we're back again by popular demand, I believe. I think the uh, the producers, the Isolation Creation Boys, tried to write us out of this series. Kill us off, more like. Kill us off, but here we are, back again. It's not the first time being killed off. No. I was once a cadaver in Silent Witness. Oh, back when you had your equity. Yes. I was laid out with a little flannel on my uh, my doodars for a bit of dignity. You're covering up your sweetbreads. <laughs> yeah. So, like, we're literally, like, talking about spin-offs, like, this week? What's a spin-off? Talk of spin-offs. She's been spin-off, you think? Haven't you, Mrs. Buckham? Have you, Mrs. Buckham? Yeah, she's been talking to a prince or something. Oh. Yeah, a bank full of gold. Oh, you're lucky, aren't you? And you're going to help them get it over here, aren't you, Mrs. Buckham? Well done, Mrs. Buckham. That's so she thought she'd get her hair wise. She thought she'd get her hair done. Lovely. Well, the is it like when Casualty had a baby and it was obviously? <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah. bit like that. And sometimes it's, it's, it's happened from films. I remember that MASH. Oh, oh yeah. Wonderful MASH is a spin off from the wonderful film MASH. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, he used to like that. It was all about the army, wasn't it? Oh, I bet he liked hot lips. Well, you're almost probably too young to know this, but do you remember Ronnie Barker? Um, from uh, Ronnie and Ronnie? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, he did this thing called Seven of One, which were little seven and a half hour, hour comedies. Oh. And a couple of them became uh, spin offs. Oh. Yeah. So you know I like me, uh, you, you know I like me zombie television. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you know I watched that one called The War and Dead. Oh yeah, I call my boyfriend that. <laughs> yeah, it's got egg in it off of this life. Oh yeah, sexy mini. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's now there's spin-offs to that. Oh yeah. Green green grass. Remember that? No, I think that's of a different calibre to Mash, though, isn't it? I don't think that it was, was uh, Boise and Marlene from uh, Only Fools and Osses. What? Oh, spin-offs, spin-offs. Well, you know me, you know me, I don't like spin-offs. Do you know what I like the spin-offs of? What's that? Me soaps. Soap spin-offs? Oh, yeah. Do you mean like Damon and Debbie? Uh, of course, in my favourite programme, On the Buses, uh, of course, we have the spin-offs of On the Buses, the movie, Holiday On the Buses, and Mutiny On the Buses. Oh, you know, like, Joey? Joey was like a spin-off from Friends. Oh yeah, I liked him. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> She's a lovely woman, so old enough, you know. Oh, is she? Oh yeah. I met her when she was opening a carpet shop. <laughs> no, not so much that one, the Corrie ones, me and my Dales. I didn't know there was a spin-off from Corrie. Which, what, what became a spin-off from Seven of One? Uh, one was called Open All Hours. Oh, so Open All Hours itself is a spin-off? Yeah. And then another spin-off of that was Open All Hours Again. There is a spin-off called The Fear. Fear the Walking Dead. Fear the Walking Dead. Yeah, I watch Fear the Walking Dead. The first of the summer wine. Oh, the first of the summer wine. How, what, that wasn't very good, was it? I can hardly remember it. I don't know, did it run for more than a season? Just a year, I think. Just a year. And then... Oh, so Open All Hours Again is a spin-off of Open off All Hours, which is spin -off a spin-off of, spin -off of, spin -off of spin -off. 7 of 1. Oh, goodness me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, going back uh, uh, Las Vegas. Oh, Viva Las Vegas. Yep. With the Duckworth. And then, um, of course, Blakey, uh, when he finished with the buses, went to Spain. And that was uh, Don't Drink the Water. A comedy there with uh, Blakey and Pat Coombs. Very, very, very funny. It was so friendly. Was she? Did you yeah. get her to do Marlene's laugh? No, but she gave me some of those little off cuts. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Nice. Well, that's, that's handy, isn't it? So they'd moved on from Hooky Street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they had. Yeah. Only yeah. Fools and Horses, they tried to do that with that. It was... They had, they had a, a prequel to yes. Fools and Horses. Rock and Chips. Oh, goodness me. It was uh, the, one of the boys from the Inbetweeners, I think. Buckley, was it? James Buckley. Buckley, was in it? yes. And then he did another one called Prisoner and Escort, which became Porridge. Oh. And then after that, a spin-off called Going Straight. So, like, do you have any spin-offs that you like, like? Yeah, I do. Uh, Teabag 1 and 2, and Teabag the DVD Reunion. <laughs> yeah, that one, and then they do one when they're on a, on a cruise boat. It's like a television show having a baby that then has another baby. Now, the thing about those was, they weren't on the box, were they? They weren't no. on television. No, you had to buy them on video. You had to buy them on VHS or on DVD. <laughs> Having a little laugh at the Spaniards and their way of life. 
I don't think Teabag was like a spin-off. I think they just replaced like a character. Oh, I just paid twenty pounds for them. Did you dingles down under? Yeah. Now they're not even worth a penny. <laughs> oh, Joe, you know, that's what I really like, which is definitely a spin-off. So don't say it isn't. And that's Scrappy Doo. Oh wow. From Scooby Doo. Uh, another spin-off that, uh, that springs to mind, which is again a very popular one. Um, uh, I hear you talking, cut salads and scrambled eggs. Fraser. Oh. And what's what's what's, what's it with the the lady of the house speaking? What's what's with that one? The bouquet lady. Yes. Young Hyacinth. Yes. Oh, again, I don't think that worked. Terrible. Did. Terrible. Do you know what I grew up with, which is all, a, a spin-off? The Fence Street Gang. Do you remember that? No, I don't. There were Baines in police there. Oh. And then they grew up and um, with the Fence Street Gang. So what Blakey didn't know, that he could have put his hand out for an outdo bush. Which is Spanish or bus. They give it to us when you're ready, don't you? Was Please Sir about Baines? Well... I thought it was an adult education centre. Well, they might be bloody school kids, but they're, uh, I think half of them were in their 30s. <laughs> they were in their 30s. We've still got them. Oh, yeah. Do you still have a top loader? No, I just stare at the box. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Is Morning Live a spin off of The One Show? No, it's a pile of shit. <laughs> so what Brady could have done, he could have got out of bush, round the back of the Betty Rockos. Spanish and Robins. Betty Rock. <laughs>